Hello, hello, Belinda. Hi. Hi, How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Oh, I'm fine. How's Ghana? How's Ghana? Ghana is fine under lockdown. I haven't been out in the past two and a half weeks. I've been home oh. throughout. Oh my word. But you've been working from home? I've been working from home, yes. Fantastic. Well, it's a bit stressful though. Sorry? It's a bit stressful though, but yeah. I've made sure that I'm making myself very, very happy. I'm taking uh -huh. full advantage of this <laughs> lockdown. I know, this is the best time. Take advantage, you know, <laughs> of the time mm -hmm. that you have, you know, to do other things mm -hmm. for yourself and just to just love up on yourself. Okay. Yes. So everyone out there, this is um well, welcome again to a league of inspirational women. I'm Ivy Kame I'm your host. And and um, you know, so today I have a really amazing lady who I've known since um, 2016. She she well, uh, I met her in UBA when I was there, and her name is Belinda Ya Dankoa Tinkorang. How did I do? <laughs> you did well. You tried. <laughs> oh, oh wow! Belinda is um. Sorry, hold on. So Belinda is um. She's divorced. She attended the University of Cape Town, Cape Coast, Ghana. Okay and has um, a BSc in Agriculture and a Diploma in Education. Um, she has been in banking since January 1998. Wow, that's amazing. Um, she worked 22 the, years. Sorry? What did you say? 22 years. Yeah. 22 years of banking. That, that's amazing. You have to tell me how you've been able to stay on so long. I mean, you have to tell me, you know. Um, she worked at the Agricultural Department a development bank for eight years and uh, and already you know she has 14 years and three months at uba ghana um she's currently the president of the uba ghana ladies association she has one child a beautiful girl called michelle who is 21 years old and in her final year of university belinda also loves photography and she loves to travel as well um yes. belinda also has an amazing energy, positive energy around her, if I have to say so myself. So, Melinda, tell us more about you, I mean, that, that you haven't shared here, you know, tell us more about you. Me, about me, I, lo I love to be a successful person, I love to make people happy. I realize that I'm an influencer, anywhere I go to, people look up to me. So I make sure that I exude positive energy. Mm -hmm. I've gone through so much. I'm a, I'm a divorcee and I'm a single mother, but I don't let that weigh me down. Good. I make sure that I make myself happy. I think I'm in a world of my own. Everybody tells me you are, you are in a world of <laughs> your own. If anybody is sad and depressed, they just call on me and then I just make them happy. Amazing. So I realize that people look up to me. My mood affects a lot of people. So I make sure that I'm always in the right mood, in a positive mood, no matter what. Sometimes I may be going through certain things myself, but I don't show it. I make sure that I let people around me know that the world is not just a serious place. You just have to let go, have a clean mind, clean heart, yes. and then there you are. Mm -hmm. Positivity Amazing. all around. All around, mm -hmm. I have to say so. I mean, you're just positive overload, you know. So, so I mean, mm -hmm. going through divorce hasn't been. I mean, I'm also I'm also divorced, you know. So, um, uh, going through divorce hasn't been an easy thing for a lot of women, you know. But mm -hmm. some women allow it to rule them and you know just take absolute control of their entire being, right? Well, some women, I mean, I would say me and you, because I mean, I'm very self-aware of my place. I mean state of mind, excuse me, is that we've seen it as, mm -hmm. this, as a setback, yes, but then we have risen above, you know, the situation. So being divorced is not so easy, really. But how have you been able to manage? Because, you know, society sometimes has, you know, I mean, in Nigeria, sometimes they have that, you know, um, certain eyebrow lifting, mm -hmm. you know, whispers, you know, certain body languages that are not so nice, you know, when, when they find out that you're divorced. 
how are, I mean, how is it in Ghana? Do you have the same, you know, um, experience there in Ghana in the society? No, not really. Okay. The way you carry yourself is the way you carry yourself around and about. Mm. You know, some people are divorced and they think their world has come to an end. No. Mm. For me, I think it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Wow. I've learned so much, yes. I've learned so much. I wouldn't have been able to achieve all the things I've been able to achieve now if I was still married. That is how I look at things. So I see the positivity in it. And I told myself when I got to divorce that I am not letting myself go. I'll make sure that I succeed in whatever I do. I'll make sure that I look good so mm -hmm. that if he sees me, he will regret. And already he has. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> me, I, will not, I will not let myself look old. Mm -hmm. I'm getting to 50 next year, God willing, I'll be 50 years old. No way! Yes. You yes. look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So I, I tell myself that I am not going to let any human being determine how I will look or how I will feel. Mm -hmm. It's only God who can let me be down. Apart from that, no human being. So I make sure that I do everything that will make me happy and make my daughter happy as well. I don't even think um, marriage is a validation on somebody, on people. Mm -hmm. you, don't have to, you don't have to feel bad if you get divorced. For all you know, if you stayed in the marriage, you'd be dead. True, very true. So, yes. So you don't have to let any human being bring you down. You have to be yourself. You have to make sure that you are the best of persons ever. Mm -hmm. And you don't, you don't have to look down upon yourself that you are a married person is better than you. Do you know what all the married people are going through? You have no idea what they go through. <laughs> so they are positive and negative, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you, don't, you don't have to feel bad about that. And in Ghana, it's not, it's not, there are so many divorcees who are doing very well. It's the mindset and it's the way you carry yourself around that will make people say nasty things to you or respect you. Mm. Oh, thank you so mm -hmm. much for sharing. Uh, one of the things that you really mm -hmm. talked on was, you know, um, believing in yourself, having a, a positive mm -hmm. mindset about yourself despite the situation, mm -hmm. you know. So how, mm -hmm. would you, how would you share this for, for women out there? Because, you see, you know, most women can't don't even get into that mindset you know they just you know mm -hmm. go into a shell they withdraw they go into a shell you know and because of that they can't even be who they were created to be they can't even begin to lead exactly. a purpose-driven life so how, how would you sh what, what would you share for women in that area how to you know come to yourself how to be confident i mean how what would they need to do to get into that state of okay. mind Okay, one thing that I realized is financial independence. Okay. Many men, yes, many women are dependent solely on their husbands. Mm -hmm. So if anything happens, they don't know what to do with their lives. Mm -hmm. So for you to be confident, for you to be on your own without looking up to any man to be taking care of you or the children, you have to be financially independent. Mm -hmm. That means you should have a job. Mm -hmm. You should have a job. You don't have to be miserable and be depending on a man for your sustenance. No. Yeah. No. So for you to be confident and for you to be able to be what you want to be, you need a job. Mm -hmm. That will pay you for you to be able to pay your bills and to make yourself happy. So financial independence is very, very, very key. If you don't have financial independence, that is where you become depressed and then you'll be thinking of a man who has to be taking care of you. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So financial independence. Find a job. Find something to do that will give you consistent income to take care of your bills. Good, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Um, and you, you know, being fact, so there are some people who are also financially independent, you know, but they are not mm -hmm. happy, even in their happy. situation, mm -hmm. yes. So they've gone through the divorce or whatever, you know, they actually have a job. They're financially independent, but still, 
they are not, you know, um, they're not, they're not positively in tune. They are still not confident. So, do you think money really makes a woman have that confidence? Is that the only thing it that does. women have? Confidence? Yes, and also is the mindset. Is the mindset mm -hmm. you have to let things go? People just cling to the old things all the time. Mm -hmm. Just let go. Tell yourself, I am going to make myself happy irrespective of whatever is happening around me. Yeah. I'm going to be an influencer. I want people to look up to me and want to be like me. So I have to let go of all the load, all the bad things. Sometimes I think you are even thinking people are thinking about you. <laughs> they don't even care. Are not. <laughs> it's all in the mind. Yes. <laughs> So you have to be yourself. No matter what you do, people will talk about you. Mm -hmm. So be yourself. Do things that will make your, you happy and mm -hmm. the people around you happy. But in the course of making yourself happy, don't make sure that, make sure that you don't hurt people in the course of doing that. Mm -hmm. You don't mm -hmm. hurt yeah. people when you want to make yourself happy. Yes. So find something to do. Find something to do that will make you happy. For me, I love to let go. I dance. I mix, I'm you dancing. Dance. <laughs> I dance, I travel a lot, I go to strange places that most people wouldn't want to go. Hmm. So I just go to different places and then I'm happy when I travel. And then I also like photography a lot. Hmm. Yes, yes. I put photos, I'm doing one hairdo or the other. <laughs> and I'm just posing for photos all the time. I love to keep memories. Mm. And those things make me happy. And also making people happy also make you happy. Yes, exactly. You put smiles on people's faces. People are always saying thank you to you. So if you are blessed financially, also make sure that you bless others. People in need, you go to them. Mm -hmm. You don't even let people ask and then you show love. You are generous to people. Mm -hmm. make others happy automatically you also feel happy yes i, I yes. totally I, I totally agree with you there because you know in my in my own healing process as well i found that every time i you know i engage with someone who was going through some challenge or the other who was hurt I, and i was able to you know help the person go through that experience i also got a lifting of you know of, of my spirit i was also healing so i realized i was healing as well so i wasn't focused on my own experience i was focused focusing on other people who needed you know some healing aid you know you know what you know when when life gives you lemon you make lemonade you know so there's a book i've written and in the book i said that when life throws you hurt you know make some healing aid you know so you know so we can also be healing aid to people in the world Yes, exactly. You know, exactly. Awesome. That's really awesome. So, um, mm -hmm. how 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 do you maintain you know your performance in the office and and all that? Because a lot, of, I mean, a lot of women too who are going through stuff, right? You know, you can't you cannot mm -hmm. separate your personal life from, from your professional life completely. You know, and so you have mm -hmm. you have baggage and you go to work. I mean, how do you maintain as a woman? How do you? you know, manage both and balance both situations so that you can also perform mm -hmm. in the office. Because that's also very okay. important. Yes. Sure. You know, I know people are looking up to me and I cannot fail them. Mm -hmm. So I cannot be a failure myself. Yes. I go to work and I want to build others. I've mm -hmm. trained so many people. So many people have worked under me and mm -hmm. they have also become branch managers just like me. Wow. You won't believe it. I, have, I, I can say 80% of the branch managers in Ghana have worked under me. Oh, wow. Awesome. Wow. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. awesome. <laughs> yes. So you don't, you don't, it's difficult to alienate yourself from what is happening at home, but I try. I try so much. I don't let things weigh me down at all. Mm. And I'm a very competitive person. I grew up in a family that was full of competition. My daddy would make you do all kinds of competition. So <laughs> I'm a very competitive person. <laughs> and I do not want to fail. Yeah. 
and I, it's not only me, I have people working under me. I don't want them to be failures as, as well. Mm. So I look as, at myself as people are looking up to me. I have to be a good example. So if I'm going to be depressed, I'm going to have bad reports, I'm going to have bad performance, it is not only me that it will be affecting. I am letting this affect others who innocently will be looking up to me. Yeah. So I make sure that I don't bring my problems to the office. Mm. And for me, I don't get down for more than 24 hours. Mm. If I'm down, the next minute, I'm out of it. Less than 24 hours, I'm out of it. And I'm back to my bubbly self. If I'm down for more than 24 hours, then it means that then it's a very serious thing. <laughs> which hasn't happened, which hasn't happened yet. Yeah, I make sure yet. I tell myself, <laughs> no, yes. I tell myself, you are human, you have your down moments, but you don't have to let it prolong. Mm -hmm. There's more to life. There's more to life. You don't have to, it's, it's, you know, it's a very short life we are in. Life is very short. Yeah. Will you spend all your time being unhappy? No. Very true. You don't have to spend all your time being unhappy. So I have this positive energy around me at work. Even when things are not going well, I tell my people, we can do it. We can make it better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's try and perform. Let's try and achieve something. Yeah. And we win yeah. awards. We, are, we win awards and we are happy. And I miss, I have parties. I have parties for them. I love to party too as well. So I have parties for them or Yes, and because of my competitive spirit, I tell them, look, if you get this right, I'll give you this. So everybody wants to work towards wants getting, to work. Achieving yeah. something. yes, yes, getting the prize. And oh, that well, helps a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. That helps a lot. So we are all in tune. We all, and I share everything. I don't hide anything from my people. Hmm. We share things. Sometimes during our marketing meetings in the mornings, you won't believe what we talk about. We don't even talk about marketing. We talk about ourselves. And it That's helps amazing. a lot. They look forward to it. We yeah. talk about ourselves. What sometimes I look at somebody, look, you are not looking good. What is happening? And the person opens up and we all talk about what is happening and how to help the person move on to the next level. So our That's marketing amazing. meetings become something personal. Because if you don't solve those personal things, how will they be able to work to achieve results? Exactly. 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 Yeah. You know, so we, so, we talk about... Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm, saying that I'm so glad that you, you shared that because in my last, um, mm -hmm. in my last uh, um, episode, you know, conversations with um, Debbie Aquara, we actually talked on that as well, on leaders actually, you know, observing their team mates, people that they work with, you know, and you can see, well, this person isn't looking themselves and you actually care enough to ask, ask, I mean, you're not looking okay, what's going on? Come on, you know, let's have a conversation. And I'm looking for ways to help to resolve, you know, that really goes a long way. And that person, you know, would, would be sold, would be, would, would do anything, you know, for the organization just because someone took that time to yeah. actually look to yeah. see, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. that you know, they were not themselves, you know, and even help them to solve the problem. So that means that you're an amazing leader, Belinda. That means you're an amazing leader as well. Okay. So an I amazing leader with emotional intelligence, you know, intelligence that's so, so critical right now in the workplace. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. Amazing. Wow. I, I know with marketing, it's not so easy because people have all the... um all the targets, the targets, the huge targets. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh my gosh but you know um the way you're going about it really helps to you know at least exactly. reduce the pressure the pressure yes mm -hmm. wow mm -hmm. so you like to party you like to travel but this lockdown has got you stuck at home how are you managing it <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. thanks, thanks to god I, i'm so happy I get to wake up anytime I feel like waking up. Yes. But I know I, I have a I have a routine. Mm -hmm. I wake up in the mornings, normal time. By yes. four thirty, I'm up. By four thirty, I'm up. But I my, now I've signed my mind that you are not going to work. So four thirty, don't wake up at four thirty. <laughs> so when my alarm goes off, I just I just put the alarm off, and then I wake up around six thirty. <laughs> I wake up around six thirty. Yeah. I, I come downstairs, 
I do my exercises, mm -hmm. jog, skip, do my squats and all that. Yes, yeah. I catch my toes. I do that for about 20 minutes and uh -huh. then get into the shower and then back to bed. And it's in the bed. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> so sometimes the whole day I'll be in a 90 the whole day. Wow. But I work from my I work I work from home. So yes. within that time after after my shower, everything I'm still in bed. Then I get onto my phone and then I reply messages, I make calls, I sort out customers who are stranded. My yeah. branch is closed down, but other branches are working. Oh, right. So I have to sort out. Yes, I have to sort out their transactions, follow through, mm -hmm. so that everybody is happy. Because if this lockdown, that is what the customers will look at what you did for them when During the lockdown. all these things are going on. Yeah. The fact that my branch is closed that doesn't mean that my, my customers' businesses are closed. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I have to be in touch with them so that, and I have to send them messages. I have to call as many customers as possible in a day mm. so that they know that we call. Sometimes I'm yeah. just calling to, how are you doing? How are you? How are you finding this lockup? Keep safe. And that is enough for them. Oh, she thought about me. She's yeah. not calling me about work. It's about how I'm faring. Mm -hmm. And some are very, very grateful. And I That's share amazing. certain information too with them. Mm -hmm. uh, any, any good information I get, I share with my customers and with my friends. Mm -hmm. Not the fake news. I make sure that I authenticate the um, the messages before yeah. I share. I don't want yeah. to put any fear or panic. And I keep in touch with my my staff. So we have a WhatsApp. I've created a WhatsApp group for my staff. The yeah. marketing group. We have a WhatsApp group, and then the whole staff too. We have a WhatsApp group. So I keep in touch with them daily to find out how everybody is doing mm -hmm. and what everybody is is following up on. Although we are. On compulsory leave, <laughs> yes. but they are still working. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, we, we, I, I, I find out about everybody's schedule, what they are doing, how I can come in to help. Sometimes they have to pass on things for me to follow up as well. Okay. So it's and then I make time. I've been cooking. Look at how fat I've become. Oh I've become so God. round. <laughs> <laughs> cooking and eating is like oh my goodness cooking and eating like and then having fashion, done, right? yes doing all sorts of things my daughter and i we've been doing trailer and tiktok are you thinking? doing all sorts of things i bet you <laughs> I haven't, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't gone into tiktok yet i'm not sure i'm going to but you know what you guys have fun <laughs> It, it's so nice. It's, it's so it's so refreshing. And then it makes you so happy. You look at certain things you have done and you are like, did I really do this? <laughs> and I share, I share on my WhatsApp status for people to look at. So people are always looking forward to looking at what is on my WhatsApp status. And then they have a good laugh. They call me, we laugh. And then we are all okay. We are, I'm, I'm making the best out of this. It's, it's not, yeah. we are not in ordinary times. If you don't take care, you'll be so depressed. People have lost their jobs, you know. Yeah. People have had, people have had, especially my clients who are in the travel and tour industries. Nobody is traveling. Mm -hmm. They their jobs have come to a standstill. Mm -hmm. But I keep in touch with them. I encourage them that look after this lockdown, you people are the ones going to make a lot of money because people are now going to travel. So just travel all sorts of things. Like, you know what? Let's go. <laughs> Recoup. So I try to make them see the positive side yeah. of other things. You are, and I tell them, my one of my mottos is that everything that has a beginning has an end. True. True. I if, it's, if there's a beginning, there will surely be an end. It will not be the same forever. Mm -hmm. So if you're going through down times, you will make sure that by all means, the down times will end and then you have the positive side to coming up. So nothing lasts forever. Nothing. <laughs> nothing lasts forever. So are, I'm, I'm, having, I'm, having, I'm having lots of fun. Although I miss the physical touch, seeing people. Yeah. I make video calls with my friends, with my friends. Mm -hmm. But it's it's not the same though. No, it's not. But we, we can't I can't complain. I'm making the best out of it. Yeah. Now I even wish I would be working from home. Because I realized that most of the things, most of the things that I really stayed in the office for, I can do them whilst I'm home. Exactly. I mean, we're beginning to realize that. We're beginning to realize that we can actually be more 
effective and more efficient from home. Actually, we can. Yes, we I can. think so as sure. well. We For certain roles, I'm sure I think we, yes. I'm sure, yes. I'm sure so many things are going to change after this lockdown. Hmm. Businesses are now going to see that no certain caliber or category of staff are not really needed in the office. Mm -hmm. So maybe we may have some remote staff working yeah. outside of the office and then maybe some, con they, will, they will put so many things, so many changes will come, I know. Yes, definitely. Because we've been able to survive, we've been able to survive all these weeks lockdown. Exactly. And the work is going on. It's Although going it's not on. the same. Everything is going on. We are working normal. You follow up on, you, know, you send your emails, you follow up with the treasury department to get rates for customers who want competitive rates. You are doing your transfers. Everything is going on as normal. Yes. So yes. we can really, really do things differently and then maybe cut down on certain costs that are not really so necessary. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. I mean, this is the time mm -hmm. for businesses to sit down and really look mm -hmm. at their business model, you know, and really, you know, like what mm -hmm. you've just talked on now. So people can work remotely. Mm -hmm. So that makes you, mm -hmm. I mean, save some money on office space. Do you need to have such a large office? No. You know, why don't you have a smaller office and have the rest work from home, you know, at their own cost? They're getting a salary. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, there's so much to think about, really. I totally mm -hmm. agree. You know, normal will be a different normal by the time we have uh, corona sees goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> it, it has to say goodbye soon. <laughs> oh my oh. God. Belinda, it has, been, it has been an amazing, you know, session with you. I don't know. Do you have oh. <laughs> do you have any um any you know last five words for women out there, divorced or even not divorced? I mean. What would you like to share some five tips for them to take back? My dear ladies, make yourselves very, very, very happy. Yeah. Look good. Mm. Clear your mind of all the negativity. Mm -hmm. Exude positivity. Let people look up to you and be inspired. Yeah. Let people look up to you and say that I want to be like this lady. And make sure that you inspire a lot of people around you. It's not the end of the world. It's even best for you, the way you are. Make sure you are happy. That's the bottom line. Make everything possible to be happy and live your life to the fullest. Amazing. Oh, wow, yeah. Belina, thank you so much for this um, uh, time that you've given me today. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Um, so everyone out there, you heard from Belinda, the ama amazing, amazing Belinda from Ghana, you know, and um, take her words and apply it to your life. I mean, there's nothing as wonderful as taking, being in, taking that conscious effort, being intentional about putting yourself in the right state of mind so that you can do great things yeah. and be an inspiration to other people, really. So yeah. in, while, we're, while we're at it, keep safe. Social distancing, wash your hands if you have to, you know, go out, just stay safe and just, you know, check up on people. Very, very important, you know, like she mentioned, check up yeah. on people because it makes them happy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just, you can even goof around. I mean, I like the idea of the TikTok, you know, to goof around mm -hmm. and share with people and make them laugh. I don't know if I'll do it, but I'll see. I'll see. <laughs> I'll see. <laughs> Melissa, I'll try it, you know, but, you, know, you, you will love it. <laughs> Okay, I will try, <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll share with you first, once I'm able to back in. <laughs> okay, so thank you, everyone. Thank you, Belinda. Thank you so much. And, um, yeah, you know, welcome. Thank you, too, for having me. I'm, I'm greatly honored. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Belinda. Mm -hmm. So till we meet again, everyone, um, I will be sharing another session soon. Bye, everyone. Mwah. Bye, Belinda. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.